Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, welcome as always. If you're looking for any tips, tricks, or guides to get better at Fortnite, you've come to the right place. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe to get notified of any future updates. Now, let's get right into it. Alright, so once you get in, you want to step right there to get your weapons. Once you receive your weapons, you can go different ways. There's this door or this door here. And obviously start where your step says step here. You want to click here and then you'll just have zombies coming at you every which way. I like to open the doors and just get them going. And this will just, you know, warm you up, get your reflexes going. Just like to start here and get my reflexes, get the mass movement, everything down every day before I get on. Just a quick little warm up. But yeah, you just got some zombies here, you know, practice different things, you know, pump. Pump the P90 burst or whatever, you know what I mean? I always struggle with turning around to 180, so you'll probably see me doing it a lot here. I try to shoot at him and then turn around and do a 180 just to practice that. I don't know, I feel like my DPI is too low, but I'm trying to practice that and get better with it. But yeah, you get the picture. From here, you can go to the next room. And here, you just uh, mark here right there. You step there. The zombies won't come out, so you step there. So you'll get in there. And basically, in this one, I like to practice angle edits. Like, try to hit angles. Like, if I was in a real match, which ones I need to practice. You see here, you know, you do the Dorito or the crouch and jump. Just practice all my edits. These zombies don't move. So they're sitting in one spot just so you can practice your angles here. In this next room, it's the same thing, except the zombies actually move and they'll try and come at you, so... This is more like in a game scenario, you know, people trying to get in your box, you just try and get them as quick as you can. Just practice your reflexes, practice setting your wall. See there, I forgot my wall, place my wall. You know, when people get your wall, you want to replace it as soon as you can. Just overall reflexes and name at the same time. When you're in close quarters, you really want to have your aim down. You miss one shot and that's it, you know. Now, if you move on, we've got a checkpoint there. And by hitting the weapons right there, it makes those zombies back there stop appearing. You go ahead and finish those off and they'll stop spawning. And here is you're closed in a box. What's coming up? You're closed in a box. You step there and then you're going to... It's got a three second delay. Then the barrier will pop up. And it's just close encounters. He's got a thousand hit points and he doesn't do damage. When he dies, he'll let off a poison. And that will kill you. So you'll have to eat your fish. Or if you do die, I'll show you in a second how to, how to get back in here if you want it. But this is just, you know, practicing your close encounter aim. I've seen a lot of pros practicing this. I thought I'd just add this in here. If anybody wants to work on it. I mean, I think it really helps. You know, same thing. Practice your 180 turnarounds. I'm the worst at it. So I try to really practice it here. I try to turn around and find them and shoot them. So that poison gas here will kill you. So right there you could either eat a slurp, but I'm going to show you in case you do die what you can do. But when you die, you appear at this checkpoint. You see there's a barrier, you can't get in. You hit that stop sign, the barrier goes, goes away. You go back in there, pops back up. 
And then let's say you're doing this for a while, you get bored, you hit the stop sign through that window, and there you go. You go out. Now we're going on to the aim training. This is long, medium distance, you know, burst, maybe get a couple stops. Now we're going to the long range. You just step on that bouncer and that doesn't happen every time. You're gonna have to move and land on those floors. That was just a lucky jump. Somehow it shot me straight to the ice. But here's the longer range. You know, you get some burst shots in, maybe practice your sniper while moving. You just hop on there and start moving one way. And then once you get to the end, there's some fans that'll blow you back and you'll just keep sliding. You wanna be in between those two little bumper railing things I added. That way you can see the zombies and everything. And on this front one, I like to I like to practice the uh, pump to P90 switch. And every now and then, when I'm too far, I'll switch to the burst just to practice, you know, situational switches, whatever I need to do, pump to P90 or whatever. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed or benefited from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for any future updates.